It's the mid-2000s, and the hip-hop world is on fire. Two heavyweight lyricists are squaring off in a lyrical showdown that's sending shockwaves through the rap game. On one side, you got the undisputed rap juggernaut Lil Wayne, fresh off of his hot boy success and gearing up for his epic Carter series. On the other side, there's Gilly the Kid, claiming he's been ghostwriting for Wheezy and is ready to prove that he's got the bars to back it up. Now it's Lil Wayne versus Gilly the Kid, who dominated. Lil Wayne, whose real name is Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., started his journey to stardom as a young rapper from New Orleans. See, in the late 90s, he formed a group called the Hot Boys alongside fellow artists Juvenile, BG, and Turk. The Hot Boys quickly gained recognition in the hip-hop scene, especially with their hit album, Guerrilla Warfare, in 1999. Now, this marked the beginning of Wayne's rise in the rap game. As the Hot Boys continued to make waves, Lil Wayne simultaneously embarked on a solo career. His debut album, The Block Is Hot, dropped in 1999 and solidified his status as a solo artist to watch. Now, Wayne's subsequent albums, including Lights Out in 2000 and 500 Degrees in 2002, further showcased his evolving lyrical prowess and unique style. However, it was his release of the Carter series that truly catapulted him into superstardom, with the Carter 2004 and the Carter 2 in 2005. Wayne's solo success was undeniable. These albums not only received critical acclaim, but also set the stage for his dominance in the rap world. On a split side, Gilly the Kid, born as Nasir Fard, made a name for himself as a rapper hailing from Philly. Now, he gained early recognition as a member of the rap group Major Figures, which included other talented artists from the Philly scene. Major Figures garnered attention with tracks like Yeah, That's Us, and they were on the cusp of signing a deal with Rockefeller Records before things took a different turn. Gilly's journey took an unexpected twist when he crossed paths with Cash Money Records, the same label that would later become synonymous with Lil Wayne's career. Gilly's affiliation with Cash Money Records marked a significant chapter in his career. So he signed with the label and became a part of their roster, which included Lil Wayne. Alright, so during his time of Cash Money, Gilly was involved in the music industry, but his solo success didn't reach the heights he might have hoped for. His contributions within the label and the impact of his music during this period remained subjects of debate and speculation. And that's when things really went down. One of the most controversial aspects of this feud is Gilly the Kid's claim that he ghost wrote for Lil Wayne during their shared time at Cash Money Records. Gilly has asserted that he penned lyrics for Wayne, suggesting that behind the scenes, he played a more significant role in Wayne's early success than fans might have realized. These allegations sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community, sparking debates about Wayne's lyrical authenticity during that period. Now, to add fuel to the fire, Gilly's early tracks showcased the flow that bore striking similarities to Lil Wayne's style. Some listeners couldn't help but notice the uncanny resemblance in their delivery and cadence. This observation led to further speculation about whether Gilly's influence extended beyond writing and into Wayne's actual rap delivery. The debate raged on. Was Gilly the secret sauce behind Wayne's early hits? Now, Lil Wayne, on the other hand, vehemently denied Gilly the Kid's allegations. See, in his response to the ghostwriting accusations, Wayne maintained that he wrote his own lyrics and that he had no need for a ghostwriter, full stop. Now, he asserted that his unique style and creativity were entirely his own, and he proudly defended his position as an authentic lyricist in the hip-hop game. Now, from Wayne's perspective, the beef with Gilly seemed to be more about credibility than anything else. Now, Wayne questioned why, if Gilly had indeed contributed to his success, that he hadn't achieved a similar level of stardom in the rap industry. So, Wayne argued that his solo accomplishments spoke for themselves, while Gilly's career hadn't reached the same heights. This led Wayne to question the credibility of Gilly's claims, suggesting that they might be more rooted in rivalry and envy than in the truth. And then came the diss tracks one after another. See, Gilly the Kid wasted no time in hitting Lil Wayne with his diss track called Frontin' Like Your Daddy. Now, in this fiery track, Gilly didn't hold back. He launched a barrage of insults and accusations aimed squarely at Wayne's credibility as a lyricist. The lyrics called out Wayne for allegedly taking Gilly's flow and suggested that Wayne was fronting, pretending to be something that he wasn't. Now, Gilly's words cut deep, and listeners couldn't help but pay attention to this escalating feud. Fronting Like Your Daddy had a significant impact on the hip-hop community. 
it fueled the ongoing debate about Wayne's authenticity as a rapper. Now, some fans began to question whether Gilly's claims had any merit, and the track stirred up discussions on rap forums and barbershops and even on social media platforms. The diss track became a hot topic, and listeners eagerly awaited Wayne's response. Now, Lil Wayne, man, he didn't take Gilly's diss lightly. He responded with his own arsenal of diss tracks, including Live from 504 and Bloodied. See, what happened was Wayne used these tracks to fire back at Gilly and defend his reputation. In Live from 504, Wayne asserted his dominance in the rap game and dismissed Gilly's claims as baseless. Man, his lyrical prowess was on full blast as he aimed verbal jabs at his adversary. Now, Bloody continued the onslaught with Wayne confidently addressing the beef and asserting his superiority. Wayne's decision to respond through his music was significant. It showcased the importance of lyrical warfare in hip-hop culture. Now, instead of engaging in a war of words through interviews and social media like some other rappers did back then, Wayne chose to let his verses do the talking for him. Now, this approach resonated with a lot of hip-hop fans as they witnessed a lyrical clash between two skilled rappers. Now, it also added a little bit of extra depth to the rivalry too, turning it into an epic battle of words that would be remembered in hip-hop history. But this feud, it wasn't just about the words. It was a clash of egos, styles, and reputation. After taking shots at one of the hottest rappers in the game, Gilly the Kid found himself in a tough spot. Now, he claimed that his career suffered due to industry blackballing. Now, this is a common accusation in the music business when an artist believes that they're being intentionally kept from success or from better opportunities. Now, whether Gilly's allegations were entirely true or not, it's undeniable that his career trajectory completely changed. Now, he also dabbled in other ventures too, including podcasting to stay relevant. Now, while he may not have achieved the same level of mainstream success as Lil Wayne, Gilly's resilience and determination allowed him to keep his name in the conversation. Now, on the flip side, Lil Wayne's career continued its meteoric rise. His response to the beef showcased not only his lyrical prowess, but also his ability to weather storms and come out stronger. Wayne's mixtape series, including The Carter Three, solidified his status as one of the most influential rappers of his generation. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing for Wheezy. Now, while his rap career soared, he faced significant legal battles with his label, Cash Money Records, and his former mentor, Birdman. See, these disputes revolved around unpaid royalties and the delay in releasing his highly anticipated album, The Carter Four. Now, these legal wranglings put a strain on Wayne's relationship with the label, but also showcased his determination to protect his interest and artistic freedom. And now that you know all the ins and outs of the feud between Lil Wayne and Gilly the Kid, comment down who you think came out on top. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating stories from the world of music and beyond. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. We'll see you next time.